Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Music Lyrics Explained 4. Alright, um, the music tonight is by The Righteous Brothers, uh, and the, the name of the song is Unchained Melody. Alright, probably most students would know this because this was the famous uh, song from the very, very old movie Ghost about 20, 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Uh, and, of course, the song has been around for a very long time. It's been around all the way since 1955. So the song is, whoa, nearly 70 years old now. Okay, so anyway, let's take a look at the note first here. All right, uh, this was first written for a 1955 movie called Unchained. Well, you know, I always wondered, why did they call it Unchained Melody? Well, because it was originally written for a movie called Unchained. Okay, the story was about a man in jail. Uh, he is torn about whether he should uh, behave, you know, and do his time, meaning spend his time in jail, or try to escape so he can see his wife that he is deeply in love with uh, and misses terribly. So he was torn whether he should do this. So this was the basis of, you know, why they had this uh, song in the movie. All right, let's continue here. Uh, many people can relate uh, to the deep feeling in this song, especially people who have long-distance relationships where, you know, maybe uh, the person they love is stationed far away or living far away uh, and they can't see them all the time. They often are touched, especially by this song. Um, okay. Uh, or need or are forced to be away. Yeah, like maybe, you know, soldiers. Uh, who are stationed overseas, or maybe people in prison, just like maybe the original movie, uh, uh, or are separated from the one they love for whatever reason. So many people focus, you know, many people in these situations really relate to the song. Uh, I've heard it's also one of the uh, most famous slow dancing songs, like at a, at a disco, if they, you know there was a couple and the slow dance comes on. This was always... A famous classic one for that as well. Okay, and just like usual, I'll go over the lyrics and we'll uh, we'll check back here with some vocabulary. All right. Anyway, uh, this is if you remember, this is the way it starts. Oh my love, my darling. Well, remember, of course, darling is a term of endearment, like you know, honey or sweetheart. Okay. Uh, I've hungered for your touch. I remember if we say to hunger for something, it means to have an intense or very serious yearning or need for. So you hunger for it. We often hear hunger for somebody's love. I, I actually think I did a verb phrase uh, video on hunger for as well, uh, where I mentioned it's often in a lot of songs, uh, meaning expressing deep love. So hunger for your touch. You know, and, and, and the, the, the song itself, if you know it, of course, very slow moving, you know, your hunger for your touch, you could almost, you know, could almost feel the touch, you know, like of somebody, you know, who loves you, touching you, actually like giving you chills. So that's kind of, that's kind of the idea for, behind it. So uh, again, let's continue. So, oh, my love, my darling, a hungered for your touch a long lonely time so of course he spent a long time away and of course very very lonely uh, time goes by so slowly and time can do so much all right yeah of course you know anytime you're missing somebody or, you know, you're waiting for something you really want. Time does seem to go by very, very slowly. It seems much longer than ever. And time can do so much, meaning that, like, when you're separated from somebody who you really, really love, uh, you start to realize things. You, you realize how deep your feelings are for that person, how much you really love them. So that's why it says, and time can do so much, meaning it, it can make you realize these things. It can make you feel those things. Okay. Uh, so love, all right. Um, and you know, so much. Uh, are you still mine? 
it. And they really stretch that out. I don't know if my voice is good enough to do that. But, uh, yeah, of course, you know, just like the original story, if the guy was in jail, you know, or, or you're separated from somebody, can't see them all the time, you, you, don't, you really don't know what's going on with them. You, you hope that they are faithful to you. Uh, so you're asking, are you still mine? Uh, do you still have those feelings for me uh, that, that, that I feel now? Are you still mine? Did, did you give your love to somebody else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, he goes, you know, I need your love. I need your love. God speed your love to me you know something like that uh remember if we say god speed it actually comes from old english uh here meaning uh, may god help you to succeed or may god help make this thing happen uh, god please help bring the love back to me uh and quickly you know uh may god speed your love to me mm -hmm. okay uh and then of course it goes on Lonely rivers flow to the sea, to the sea. All right, why is he saying rivers? I don't know. Maybe it's in association with, like, water and tears. Uh, and, of course, the river, maybe you're imagining a lonely river. I don't know. Is it, is it being reunited with the sea? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, to the open arms of the sea. So, of course, you know, maybe it's like imagining, you know, being with her, you know, open arms meeting her. So, like, the, a river meeting with the sea? I don't know. Is the river and the sea a couple? I'm not sure. Uh, lonely river sigh. All right, remember if we say to sigh. Uh, the act of breathing out slowly, making a long, loud sound like, <sighs> you know, uh, we do it for a number of reasons. Sometimes we do it because we're bored. Uh, sometimes because we're tired, sometimes because we're disappointed about something, like, like that didn't happen. So I think it's really disappointed is probably the one that they mean here, that they're not together. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you know, wait for me, wait for me, like, please wait for me. <laughs> Don't go with somebody else. Wait for me, wait. I'll be coming home wait for me, you know, so basically, please wait for me, I'll get out one day, or I'll be able to get to see you again one day, and then, of course, it goes through the whole chorus again, you know, oh, my love, all right, and until we get to the next part, and the next part, of course, is a lonely mountains gaze at the stars, at the stars, so he's really using nature here, of course, stars are romantic, it might be pretty good to use that, uh, and he's making the mountains <laughs> the ones that actually seems lonely here. Uh, waiting for the dawn of the day. All right, so if, if you're waiting for the dawn, dawn sounds like a new beginning, you know, so maybe when they can finally be reunited, hopefully. Uh, uh, all alone I gaze at the stars, at the stars, dreaming of my love far away. You know, so basically, again, missing, missing them. Your love far away, can't be together. And again, uh, we, we have another chorus again, where again, it goes into all my love. Of course, we can skip that because we already covered all the vocabulary there. Um, yeah, and, uh, and that's basically it. That's basically it. Again, it was one of the most romantic movies that we remember is, uh, is the one with the ghosts. So that's what most people associate this movie with ghosts, that's probably what's always on their mind. But for some people, this song is a very personal song and really touches their heart uh, when they think of like missing the person that they really love and they have to be away from. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. Um, uh, I hope it was food for thought. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.